Welcome to Positive Healthy Living. What is a toxic relationship? There is really no official definition for a toxic relationship. However, it's safe to say that any relationship that has characteristics that leave you feeling bad about yourself has any kind of abuse, where you can't communicate without screaming or yelling, or where you tend to have regular feelings of being on pins and needles around your partner is probably a toxic one. Here are 11 signs that you may be in a toxic relationship. One, being emotionally unavailable. You can't have a committed relationship with someone who is unable to be giving, loving, or present, or who is constantly pushing you away and not allowing their emotional guard down. No one should have to settle for someone who doesn't fulfill your emotional needs and doesn't want you in theirs. Two, addiction or compulsive behaviors. Where there is addiction or compulsivity, emotional intimacy just can't exist. This type of behavior puts a wall between you and your partner. Enabling addiction and other dangerous types of behaviors just to please your partner only helps them to ultimately self-destruct and causes the other to harbor toxic resentment. That said, a partner who is working in a recovery or medically supervised program can be in a healthy relationship. Their willingness to do so and to get help is key. If your partner has a serious problem that is hurting the relationship and themselves, you should not be expected to stand by and watch as they self-destruct. Getting help is their responsibility as you can only help so much. That said, if addictive or compulsive behaviors are present in your relationship, you need to seek help. 3. Habitual Cheating Some people consider cheating to be the surefire end to a relationship, but many also believe that there's a little bit of a gray area. People do make mistakes. While cheating on your partner is never okay, there is a big difference between someone who screws up once and someone who is cheating repeatedly. The latter shows a pattern of hurtful behavior, poor impulse control, and a lack of character. And when dealing with a full-grown adult, you shouldn't have to teach these things. Impulse control, integrity, respect, compassion, and character are just some traits that you shouldn't have to compromise on. Four, it's always about them. There are lots of times in relationships when one person is going through a crisis or a tough time at which time the partner needs to focus on them and help their partner's needs. But when you have a partner who is constantly talking about themselves and their issues and their problems, well, it doesn't take long to change the dynamic of the relationship to a toxic one. If your partner doesn't ask you about your life goals, your opinions, and always makes it about their wants and desires, you have a problem. A relationship is all about balance, and you have to give and take. This kind of self-centeredness not only makes it difficult to connect with your partner, but puts the balance out of sync, which is so important in any healthy relationship. 5. Compulsive Lying Compulsive lying is another sign of a toxic relationship, which may also present itself in the cheating or addiction category. But if your partner attempts to cover up their behavior with conscious deceit, your relationship is certainly in trouble. Whether it is a sign of a lack of conscience or a full-blown personality disorder, this is a surefire sign of a toxic relationship. Simply put, if you can't trust your partner to tell the truth, your relationship is doomed. 6. Unwillingness to self-reflect If you have a partner who is constantly defensive and blaming others for their problems in life, you have a toxic situation. With looking at how we can contribute to the problems in our own lives, we can't change negative situations. This also translates into the relationship and an inability or unwillingness to examine how our own behaviors contribute to our problems. If someone is always pointing the finger, it's impossible to have a healthy relationship. 7. You're discouraged from having friends. Typically abusers or people that are insecure tend to want to control their partner's every move, but more importantly, who they talk to. You see, insecure people tend to isolate their partners, and they want their partner to not have any friends, have limited interaction with their family, or a strong support system of other people who care about them. Taking this away from them 
makes it very difficult for them to leave the relationship if things ever were to get really bad. If this sounds like your partner, you should consider this a major red flag of a toxic relationship. Eight, there is no learning curve. All couples make mistakes in their relationship. The key is to be able to learn and adjust as you go. If you have a partner who makes the same mistake over and over again and does not change their behavior, you've got a problem. You see, learning and understanding your partner is just half the battle. The other half is to not do those little things that may irritate your partner. Nine, abuse. Any abuse, whether it's physical, emotional, or sexual, is totally unacceptable in any relationship. If your partner has hit you once, there's always that possibility that they will do it again. And you will never be free to be totally honest with your partner again. If you ever suspect that you're in danger, do not attempt to diagnose your relationship and prioritize seeking safety first and foremost. 10. Not living up to what is promised. If you say you're coming home at 11 p.m. after a night with going out with your friends, come home at 10.58. Always do as you say in your relationship. It is inevitable to miss little things in life, like forgetting to take out the garbage or forgetting to pick up that coffee on your way home for your partner. But if you do happen to forget, make sure you do double time to make it back up to them. This will go a long way to maintaining their trust and reassuring them that they can rely on you in life. 11. Mental illness. This is a sensitive and very tough issue that presents itself in many relationships. Mental illness is sometimes hard to spot and other times can be very overwhelming. If your partner is suffering from mental illness, it can weigh down a relationship so much that one person who does not have the illness starts to carry anger and resentment for carrying the load of everyday tasks. But with those feelings of resentment also comes feelings of guilt for feeling this way towards their partner who they know is sick. That said, there is so much help and therapy for those that suffer with mental illness these days that you can easily find a solution to lift the dark cloud off your relationship to sunny skies and greener pastures. So there you have it. 11 toxic behaviors in a relationship. Does your relationship have any of these signs? If so, how are you coping? Or better yet, what did you do to overcome the problems? Leave a comment down below and let us know. As always, don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of all our new videos and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and as always, go live life positive and healthy.